So today it's just ukulele, ukulele, and more ukulele. That's so important that what we're doing today that I'm not even going to assign any theory parts today. Uh, the first thing is, of course, you have your Nosa Tebepla demonstration video. So you're going to do the strumming, which is the strumming and the singing by memory. And uh, you're going to put on an accompaniment. And there's three speeds. One goes about this fast. So if you're not feeling confident, you can try it there. Uh, one's about this fast. And then there's one that's a little faster. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Pick the one that's most comfortable for you. Doesn't change your grade. But make sure that I can see your hands and your face and everything. Make sure that I can hear the accompaniment. And take as many takes as you need to do to get a good take and turn it in, okay? Second thing, uh, sway strum. So you've already done um, uh, practice with the reference video, the practice video for Sway, where you sang along with it. You said the words and then you sang the words and we're getting you that way. This time you're going to strum, but you're not going to strum the chords. We're going to keep it simple. You're going to put on the recording and you're going to do your syncopated strum in time with it. So it'll be like... Like that. And you need to get to know the actual performance of the video. There's times where we stop, like at the very beginning it goes. When marimba rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway, like uh, etc. And it stops for that measure. And so you, in addition to strumming, you have to learn when to not strum. When we get to the bridge, the middle part, other dancers may be on the floor. You have a different strum pattern, which is just quarter notes and then a cha-cha-cha. So again, rather than just diving in, maybe you need to listen to it and stop it and things. But uh, in the bridge, it goes, other dancers may be on the floor, cha-cha-cha, right? And it does that, I think, three times, right? So, other dancers may be on the floor. Dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. And you don't have to learn how to do the... Phil, that's just for fun. I can't even remember if I put it in there, but if I did, don't worry about that. So you're learning. Right? And... In the right spots. Once you've got that down, Assuming it didn't take you very long, go back and try. Again, just mute strumming. Don't worry about the chords, but singing. When marimba rhythm starts to play, dance with me. And just, you know, practice that. Because um, putting those things together is, is the hard part before we put the chords in. Okay? Third thing. So the video's jumped to a different video because in this term, we've changed one of the pieces we're doing. Um, and so I cut that out of this current training video and put this new one in here. The third assignment is to work with Rondo. It's the same skill set as the other piece from last term, but um, but we're we're gonna work with this guy instead. Finger style. Then you have been doing these things. Learning the right hand only. And you've been learning the shapes like open, that, this, that, and that right there. Okay. This time you're going to be practicing the practice segments. Now I apologize. This one also says right hand segments, but the file is practice segments. This one here, which is truly just the right hand segments, says practice. So it says that file says practice segments for the right hand. Just at this one here looks like like that and we're going to work on the first two lines where we put these together so i've mounted a camera over top here so you'll be seeing the ukulele just as you would if you were playing it so you can mimic it more easily and i will take the first two lines which may seem really complicated because it's But it's really not. I mean, it's complicated, but it can be made simpler. We'll do smaller chunks. We'll do it slowly. 
we'll do repetitions and you can pause the video and work things out. Nothing will be too fast. Okay. But what will happen is you'll see me do the first line from a top down view and I'll just be like three notes and then keep going. Notice my hand hasn't moved over here very much. And what you'll find is that this is this position, that's that position, that's that position, and then back to there. And so if you've done the other training, now we're putting them together. If you haven't done the other training, you've got some work to make up because just to throw it all in at one time is going to be very, very um, grueling. You have to do this work first, those practice videos, right? Right? Those shapes here and the back and forth first set of right hand segments that we did, right? So here's what you should do on the first one. As I play, you just point to the notes as they go by, okay? We have the actual notation and we have the tab, what strings I'm playing and what frets I'm putting my fingers on. Your job is just to make sure that you can track on the music what we're doing. Then. Play the video part again, like don't play the whole video, play that segment again and see if you can go in a snapshot. Oh, his hand's right there right now, or his hand is moving to there and then back again, right? And then start to see if you can look at it and mimic it. I'll only go up to like the halfway point the first time and then the next part and so on. Um, so that eventually, you can play along with me and I'll go slow like this. Okay. And still you got to have the right hand shape. So it'll be curved like that, right? Won't be like this. And you have to use the right fingers when we get to fret three like that. You've got to use fingers two and three, middle end, and normal people ring finger, and then that slides up to there. Otherwise, you won't have the ability to move between the shapes correctly. And of course, you want to be using these two for your outside and that for your inside, except when we do the repeat. Dun, 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 right? Like that. So first time, just make sure you can track, right? Second time, start to figure it out. So you can sort of say, okay, I have my hand shape here, and I put this thing that I've been practicing there. And then hopefully at the end, you can start to play along, okay? I don't know how many minutes that's going to take you, but um, it, it's important for you finally to be able to say, at the end of this, since you're tracking the music and you've been watching the video and mimicking the video, that you don't need the video to practice this. The notation will be sufficient for you to say, ah, first I do this. Then I do that, and then I'm on the inside string, so I'm using my first finger, and it's a there, and then open, and then that, and that, because this is so much more efficient than playing along with the video. The video is excellent because it makes sure that you're doing it right, because you're just mimicking and making it look the same. And uh, the sound is there, and the physicality is all there, but once that's all in place, the job is to be able to look at the notation and practice this anywhere, anytime, in similar ways, short and such. Okay, so track the notes, start to mimic short segments of it, finally try and play along, and the whole goal is that you understand what these first two lines mean. I mean, the notes are in the notes, but the tab tells you where to put your fingers, and the video shows you which fingers to put in those spots. Okay? And that's what you practice.